so hello everyone welcome to lorenzo data solutions my name is anipi abraham sap success factors consultant and corporate trainer so today um, in this uh, short video i'm going to explain about success factors recruiting h2 2022 release updates in a, a detailed explanation and i'm sure those who are watching this may give you uh, some clarity about the new updates so where it helps you to update your subject so with regarding the the schedule period uh, for h2 2022 for uh, recruitment management uh, which is uh, which is uh, 28th october 2022 which is a preview release and uh, December 9th, 2022 is a production release. Now everyone knows all the, the scheduled dates, those who are already working in success factors. So the first update uh, that I want you to understand with this update is uh, um, update to the expiration uh, duration of the reset password link. You know, earlier, um, you know, set a welcome password and reset password link expiration. It used to be like, uh, you know, you used to set up like a one to a 30 days in between, you know. For example, you can look at the screenshot that here at the bottom uh, password policy login setting we used to have uh, uh, like the option is like a one to 30 days. But now you can, uh, you see, you see like by default you are able to see but anything that you can set up between uh, 1 to 30 you know but uh, with this update uh, set password uh, expiration option is now set to 1 one day by default so but now this option is disabled for editing earlier you are able to set up like a 1 to anything between 30 days but now it is completely disabled and is grayed out. But this update enhances the privacy for your agency users uh, and even external candidate accounts, what you are going to create. So now the password is actually uh, disabled and it is set as a one day. And uh, now you can't edit set a welcome password and reset password expiry in number of days where it was possible for you uh, by one day to anything between 30 days and one more thing uh, with this update you also must understand which is uh, unsuccessful login attempts that was also uh, you can set up your unsuccessful login attempts with the number of days specified but uh, maximum number of unsuccessful logins also disabled so you cannot edit it so you can see if you are exceeding more than five attempts uh, you know automatically your agency account or external user accounts will be locked and then you may need to consult the system administrator to reset your uh, account so with uh, with this uh, did this uh, no uh, you know manual update or uh, admin uh, you know interference is not required it is a universal going to be updated 9th december 2022 the production system right it is a one of the minor enhancement and you can go through these technical details may give you more clarity next uh, let us try to understand the next update uh, that is uh, internal candidates are included in uh, recruiting email campaign you know for customers who are already using this uh, you know, recruiting email campaign that includes uh, internal candidates. But now there is no action is needed to take uh, and now whether to receive it or not. The configuration type is uh, set up automatically. So now the configuration requirement, which is uh, in order to use a recruiting email campaign, first of all, you need to go and set up or enable candidate relationship management so the prerequisite is so you are using a recruiting email campaign in rbp it is enabled 
and uh, you also need to grant the permissions to edit to create to view this is for uh, uh, configuring the recruiting email campaign so in the current version both external and internal candidates can receive emails from a recruiting email campaign but in the previous release only external candidates receives you know email campaigns but now it is made available including both internal and external candidate so this is one of the minor update the configuration type is a universal okay now let us try to understand the third one which is uh, new recruiting career site detail for ssl certificate expiration email reminder so now ssl certificate expiry email reminders are improved with additional detail that helps the administrators to identify that you know your career site is about to expire in number of days so these uh, email reminders they include about your rcm company id career site uh, id site name the url all these things will be included and uh, it's going to be notified for the administrators to take necessary action with uh, an improved uh, functionality about this one now another update which is a very useful one which is a new reject all cookies button for a career site cookies banner that means you can also configure you know like a reject all cookies button in a career site as a cookies banner next to the existing accept all cookies you know every time there is a small pop-up appears at the bottom of the uh, career site uh, banner page now with this enhancement you can actually configure reject all uh, cookies button you know but by uh, you know but by default you know the setting is enabled as reject all cookies as a uh, off so if you don't want you can uh, you know disable it it's up to you but you can configure so that uh, the career the configuration requirement is uh, you know the career site builder feature is located in the appearance global cookies manager so there you can enable all cookies and configure even reject all uh, button label automatically there is nothing you need to configure to see these details okay and uh, you can see uh, there is a uh, one more uh, cookies banner setting page you have to go and enable and then uh, if you don't want you can disable it okay i'm sorry in the previous version screenshot if you see you don't see that reject all uh, cookies uh, tab which you are able to see here uh, with this here okay but now you don't see it in the previous version here right so this is one of the enhancement uh, i'm sure uh, this also helps you to understand about the cookies for a better experience of your career site uh, uh, pages okay next uh, the last uh, update uh, with this uh, you know uh, h2 2022 for recruitment in this blog there are so many updates but one of the few major enhancements i'm explaining for you so now the enhancement to the interview central so earlier we used to have a thumbs up thumbs down that are used to rate the candidates uh, you know performance actually whether the interview has gone better or not but now uh, you will only see the icons to rate with the recommended or not recommended you don't see it like a thumbs up thumbs down you can see now this is how it is going to look uh, after the preview uh, production release instead of uh, thumbs up thumbs down in the interview central page but earlier you, you are able to see like you can see that thumbs uh, it's uh, interview central uh, in the current version you are able to see you can see you we are able to see like thumbs up thumbs down but now you are only going to see from now onwards as a recommended not recommended okay so this is one of the update and everyone who is working in uh, recruitment management so make sure you are knowing all these updating yourself and maybe when you're going for your delta examinations and i'm sure 
these points what I have explained may help you to clear your Delta exam as well. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this uh, short video. See you all again next time. Bye everyone. Thank you.